Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Emma. In this video, I will demonstrate how Windows Event Logs serve as an important forensic artifact. If you need a quick refresher on what Windows Event Logs are, and how they are useful in digital forensics, I invite you to read this article in MCSS Library. You can find the link to this article in the description box below. For this demo, I will perform two tasks on my Windows computer. First, I will disable Windows Defender, which is the antivirus software that comes installed on every Windows machine. Then I will create a malicious service. We will then look at the event logs to review the entries generated by the two tasks. Finally, I will tell you how you can approach investigating Windows event logs. On my computer, first I will disable Windows Defender. Now, within the administrator's PowerShell, I will create a service from a malicious application present in the desktop. Let's head over to the Event Viewer application to view the Windows event logs. You can see the various categories of event logs here. Within the application logs, we can find an entry that Windows Defender was snoozed, along with the timestamp. This indicates that Defender had been temporarily disabled. Within the system logs, we can find an entry indicating creation of a malicious service, along with the timestamp. You can also find information about the user that created this service. In this demo, you observed how you can find information about recent activity on the system from the event logs. Likewise, within event logs, you can also find entries indicating malicious script execution, unauthorized user account login, etc. During an investigation, when you acquire Windows event logs as a forensic artifact, I recommend that you copy the logs from the target computer to your computer for analysis. You can view the logs using Windows Event Viewer or using tools designed specially for this purpose, like Event Log Explorer or Log Parser. When a Windows computer is involved in an incident, the event logs serve as just one forensic artifact. There will be other artifacts like prefetch files and memory dumps to process. The findings you make using different forensic artifacts will help you recover the incident timeline. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to MCSI YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!